The chain brake attaches to the saw over the clutch drum. The brake has a metal band that wraps around the drum. When the handguard is pushed forward, the brake is engaged which tightens the metal band around the drum, bringing the chain to a quick stop. The chain brake kit consists of the brake band, the spring and linkage, and the plastic housing. Replacing the chain brake kit is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the brake assembly, bar and chain from the saw. Now I can remove the metal cover from the brake assembly. Here I have our new brake assembly. I'll need to transfer the adjuster parts over to the new brake. I'll pull the bolt, adjuster pin, bevel gear housing, and bevel gear out, and then the second bevel gear from the old housing. I'll drop the bevel gear into the new brake housing. and reinstall the rest of the adjuster. And now reinstall the metal guard using the screw that came with the new brake assembly. And now install the new chain brake, the bar and the chain. I place the bar over the studs. I'll pull it all the way back. Now I'll put the chain onto the bar. I'll line the chain with the groove in the bar. Make sure it fits around the bar sprocket. Now I'll pull it tight onto the bar and I'll place the chain brake over the bar studs. I need to adjust the tensioner back until it fits into the bar. Right there. Now I'll tighten the bar nuts until they're just hand tight. And with the nuts in place, now I can tension the chain. I want to lift the bar up and turn the tensioner. As I turn it, the chain will snug up against the bar. And the proper tension is when I can lift the chain away from the bar. I want it to be able to move away from the bar, but I don't want to see a gap between the guide links and the bar. So just a little bit tighter. About right there. And I'll just tighten up the nuts. And that's all it takes to install a new chain brake assembly on your chainsaw. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up 